Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to learn how to find factors of 100. So there are two methods for finding factors of any number. One is the division method and the other one is the multiplication method. In this video we will be using the division method for finding the factors of 100. So factors are numbers which when multiplied gives a product. In the division method, we divide 100 by different numbers and check whether the number is a factor of 100 or not. If 100 is divided fully without leaving a remainder, that means the number is a factor of 100. So let us divide 100 by different numbers. The first number is 100 divided by 1 will give us 100 as 1 times 100 is 100 and 1 is a factor of all the numbers. So we got two factors from this division as 1 and 100. So we are going to write our factors here on the left hand side. 1 times 100 is equal to 100. Next we will divide 100 by number 2. So 2 times 5 is 10. And 2 times 0 is 0. So 2 is a factor of 100. We got 2 factors from this division as 2 and 50. So 2 times 50 is 100. Next number is 3. As 3 is an odd number and 100 is even number, it is not fully divisible by 3. So 3 is not a factor of 100. Next, we will divide 100 by 4. 4 times 2 is 8. We got 2 as remainder. Then we will drop down 0. And 4, 4 times 5 is 20. So we got 0 remainder. That means 4 is a factor of 100. We got two factors as 4 and 25. So 4 times 25 is 100. Next, we will divide 100 by number 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And 5 times 0 is 0. So 5 is a factor of 100. We got two factors as 5 times 20. Next, we will divide 100 by 6. 6 times 1 is 6. And we got 4 as remainder. Then we will drop down 0. So 6 times 6 is 36. And we got 4 as remainder. 100 is not divided by 6 fully. So that means 6 is not a factor of 100. Next we will divide 100 by number 7. 7 is also not a factor of 100. As 100 is not fully divisible by 7. Next, we will divide by 8. 8 is also not a factor of 100. Next is 9. 9 is also not a factor of 100. So, next number is 10. So, 10 times 10 is 100. And we got 0 as remainder. That means 10 is a factor of 100. So, we got two factors as 10 times 10 is 100. So, as our factors are getting repeated. So we are going to stop the division here as we got all the factors of 100. Repeated factors means we got all the factors of 100. So now we are going to write all the factors of 100 as factors of 100 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, 50 and 100. These are all factors of 100. This is how you find the factors of any number and this is the division method for finding the factors of any number. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.